tips in economics, how we calculate economic growth and inflation rate. Let's see if we have a simple economy. And this economy is consisting of a production of two products, food and machine. So we need to find the real GDP and the real GDP represent the real increase in output. How much number of units increases if my production is increasing from one year to another? So basically, real GDP is depending on real production, and it depends on current current units produced times base year prices. What are the base year prices or the fixed prices or the year that I'm going to isolate for it? the effect of increase in price level. So if we took this formula and we need to look for the GDP one for year, year one, then we are going to do the 10 times 100, which is 1000 plus the prices for the second product, which is 100 times five, then this is will give me 1500. And this is the real GDP for the first year, which is 1500. Perfect. But if I want to look for the real GDP for the second year, I will ignore the effect of the current prices. So real GDP for year two, it will be, as we will see, 14. No, not 14. The, the fixed prices, which is 10 times 80 plus 100 times four, then it will give me the value of the real GDP. So what we did here, we used the same prices. We didn't change the prices. So the second year will give me 1,200, which reflect a decrease in production. The number of units that I am producing declined. It was five and four and then 108, 80. But if we go for the third year, the situation it changed real GDP, for year three, year three. What is the for year three? Then I will use the same prices times the current units plus the 300 times, no 300. We said we take only 100. So 100 times six, then it will give me the total value of goods and service in terms of fixed prices. Then it will be 1,000. 1,100, 1,700. So this is will give me the different real GDP. So if I will put here 1,200 and then I put 1,700, so this is will give me if we have a, a numerical value for the production. So how we can calculate the economic growth? The economic growth, how we can calculate it? We can calculate the economic growth by using very simple way. What are this simple way? We're going to find the growth rate. What happened to the growth rate? If the growth rate increases or not? So I will use the formula economic, economic, economic growth rate. It will be real GDP. So I will find the economic rate for year two because for year one is not available because I don't have the year before it, real GDP two minus real GDP one divided by real GDP one whole times 100. And then I can find the economic growth. So how we can find it? We're going to find economic growth for year two. Then it will be 1,200 minus 1,500 divided 1,500 and all times 100. So can I find the economic growth rate? Is it easy to find it? So if we are going to compare between them, you will find that the production decline by around 20%. Why 20%? Because 1,200 minus 1,500, it is dropped. And this means that we are having a recession, a decrease in production from one year to another, drop of production. So what happened to the economic growth rate for the third year? I will do the same economic growth for the third year. Then how we can find it? We're going to use the 1,700 
Here I'm going to compare with the base year, which is 1,500 divided by 1,500. Time is all of them times 100. And if we calculate it here, you will find that the value is positive. And when we have the value is positive, this means that this is a production and there is an output, then the production would be plus 13%. Perfect. Then here we have an economic profit. So we can write it in, we can write it in the table that we have an economic loss. And then here it is not available, not available, the one after it. So this is the economic growth rate, taking into consideration the base year I'm comparing with the first year. So plus 13% because there is an increase of production. Perfect. But if I want to do year to year, what do you mean by year to year? I want to calculate year to year. What do you mean by year to year? This year with the previous year. This year with the previous year. So how can I do that? It's very easy. So to calculate it according to Y or Y, year to year. So I will write economic graph for year two. So it is easy. It will be the same because I'm going to compare it 1,200 minus 1,500. Then it will give me the same value. There is no change. So the economic growth year to year, then it will be, it is for year two, it is the same because it is 1,200. But the difference will be economic growth for year three, if I'm going to use this year in comparison to the previous year, 1,700 minus 1,200 and 1,200. And this is, will be different according to the given values that which is from 1.1 up. How much it will be, then you will look here, you will find there is a positive economic growth and here there will be a higher rate which will give me 40 plus 42%. Perfect. So this is what we call it economic growth rate, either by year to year or either by base year. If I'm going to compare with the oldest year or the year that I'm going to compare with, or I'm going to compare with the, with what? With the year I have it with the previous one. So this is, this is great. We did the economic growth. Let's go for the nominal GDP. We need to calculate the nominal GDP because this is will reflect on the inflation rate. So to calculate economic uh, inflation rate, we need to find nominal GDP. And after that, we need to find the index. What is the index? We need to find the index of calculation of inflation rate. What is the index for in inflation rate the index for the inflation and the index for the inflation rate and instead of the cpi we're going to use gdp deflator deflator so what is the gdp deflator so to find the inflation we depend on gdp deflator what is the deflator it is an index that we use it to compare different indices together to find if there is any increase in price level or not. Deflator, Def, deflator, this one divided by GDP deflator. But you didn't tell us what is this deflator. This deflator, it will be an index combining both of them, who both of them the nominal GDP and real GDP. So let's see how we can calculate this index. This index, it is easily GDP deflator, which is reflecting deflator, the differences of prices, which is be calculated with by nominal GDP divided by real GDP all of them times 100. And this is the deflator we have. So let's see here what will be the nominal. So it is 100 times 10 plus 100 times 5. It will give me the same value. Then it is normal calculation. Nominal GDP, it is the normal calculation. Nominal GDP, it will be the nominal calcu normal calculation, which is current price times current units. Perfect current units. 
how we do that. So it will be 1,500 here. I will do it by a different color. 1,500, 1,500. This is the four, this year, the first year. What will be for the second? So the second will be time is 14, time is 80 plus 290 times four. Then it will give me the nominal GDP, 2,280, the second year, 2,280, perfect. And then we go for the last year. The last year will be, will be my 16 times 110 plus 300 plus six, then it will give me 3,560, 3,560. Then this is what we call it nominal GDP, perfect. How can I find the index? So this index, it is 1,500 divided 1,500 times 100. Then usually the base year, usually the base year, it is 100. Base year, it is the index and then it will be the 100 that I have. So this is the base year because it is giving me the same. But what about the, the other one, which is I want to find the GDP deflator for the second year. So if I'm trying to calculate it, then it will be 2,280 divided by 1,200 all times 100. So it will give me if there is an increase in price level or there is no an increase in price level. So if we look here, then it will be 190 this year. The one after it, I will do the 3,560 divided by 1,700. All of this time is what time is 100. And this is will give me 209. Great. Then I find by this way, the index. So it will be 190 here and then 209 here. Then I have the GDP deflators. Perfect. So finally, we can do the year to year inflation. So if I want to compare the inflation, as we see the inflation is the differences between GDP deflator, new minus old over old. If I'm going to compare it here, then this prices has been increased by 90%. How I got this 90%? This 90% because I compare it with the previous year, 90%, perfect. Okay, so let's see here. So inflation, inflation, inflation according to year to year, inflation rate according to year to year, how it will be, then it will be the 190 minus 100 divided by the 100, all times 100, then it will give me the 90%. Okay, this is the increase in prices. That means that this increase in prices increased by 90%. Okay, so what about the last one? If I'm going to compare year to year, this year with the previous year, this is 209 minus 190, then it will give me year to year a very interesting percentage, 209. If we look here, inflation rate for year three and using year to year, this year with the previous, uh, this year with the previous year, then it will be 209 minus 109, 209 minus one, 190 divided by 190, then it will give me just a very simple increase. And don't forget time is 100 because this is will give me, will not give me a percentage. So if I multiply time is 100, then this is will give me the easiest calculation, which is the price is just increased by 10%. And this is when we use year to year. So here it increased by just 10%. Perfect. What about base year? So if I compare base year, then it will be the same, but the last one will give me a different percentage, 90%. So here, what will be 209 minus 100, then it will be 100 and how much it is? Calculate it, find the answers. Then it will be 109%.
So as you see here, we did the calculation for the inflation rate. We compare by find that we have here economic growth and this economic growth, it is in negative value. And this negative value means that it is a recession. But in the next year, we have an increase in production and this is the output. So we have an economic growth. If we look here between these two years, year to year, the price is stabilized, then it just increased from the previous year by 10%. But if I'm going to compare it with the old year, which is here 109, I'm just still comparing with the old age, then it is 109. So there is a difference. But if I'm saying that I'm going to calculate nominal GDP, used to calculate economic growth nom using nominal GDP, then this is, will give me a fake answer. So I wish you understand how we can find economic graph and we can find inflation rate. And it is very easy calculation for a simple example. Nice to meet you. See you next video. Bye.